Australia's Northern Territory covers a vast frontier from the Red Desert country of Central Australia to the tropical coastline of the Arafura Sea. Almost half the land is owned by the Aboriginal people and many of them live in tiny remote communities far from the nearest town or city. This is the place where the ancient culture of Aboriginal Australia remains alive and strong. Ceremonial dance is part of everyday life and the artworks, whether painted on bark in natural ochres or on canvas with acrylic paints, tell the story of an intriguing history that reaches back in time unbroken over 40,000 years. In the many remote communities throughout the Northern Territory, community-owned art centres facilitate the production and marketing of authentic Aboriginal art. They produce a wide range of art products, from highly sought-after fine art paintings, etchings and prints based on the spiritual world of their traditional culture, to artefacts such as wood carvings, weaving products and musical instruments like the yadaki, better known as the didgeridoo. There are contemporary art-based products such as pottery and clay sculpture, jewellery and glass products, printed fabric, woolen wall hangings, rugs and carpets sometimes made in collaboration with highly skilled artisans in other countries. These products are usually available in small galleries in the communities where they're made. But most of the sales come from exhibitions at commercial galleries in the major Australian cities and regular exhibitions in overseas galleries. Because of their isolation, many of the remote communities are hard to reach, so few art buyers ever actually get to see the places where the work is created. Some entrepreneurs run art tours using light aircraft for people interested in Aboriginal art and culture. They can visit a range of destinations separated by vast distances in a relatively short space of time. Art dealers generally make annual trips in four-wheel drive vehicles to the remote communities to purchase works. Buyers are also able to purchase works over the internet as almost every community owned art centre has a website accessible through aboriginalart.org. The community owned art centres often have relationships with particular art dealers who act as agents for artists with established reputations. These artists will periodically travel to cities in Australia and around the world to promote their work. While it's true that Aboriginal artists, like any artist, create works of art to make money, their real motivation is often far deeper than that. Painting is an expression of their spiritual beliefs. The very act of creating the works reaffirms their connection to the spirit world that is the basis of their lives. In the past, sacred designs were painted on the ground or on the body as part of ritual ceremony. Paintings were also made on rock walls and on bark depicting creation stories, clan histories and spirit beings. While all of these practices still continue today as part of a living culture, Aboriginal art has also found a place in the global art market. Contemporary Aboriginal artists use both natural ochres and acrylic paints on bark and canvas to depict their interpretations of the spiritual world they inhabit. The results have created widespread interest throughout the art world and a reinterpretation of Australian Aboriginal art from primitive to contemporary art.
The Northern Territory's two main cities, Darwin and Alice Springs, are the centre of the Aboriginal art world in Australia, with dozens of galleries dedicated to authentic Aboriginal art. Community-owned Aboriginal art centres are represented by two Territory-based organisations. Desart in Alice Springs is set up to service art centres in the desert region of Central Australia. And in the top end, Anchor, the association of Northern, Kimberley and Arnhem Aboriginal artists, serves the needs of art centres in the northern remote communities. Both these organisations can give guidance and advice regarding authenticity of Aboriginal art products and how to contact particular art centres and artists. Anger has a strong role in the promotion of Indigenous arts through the art centres. Uh, we work very closely in assisting them to become export ready to further their uh, marketing opportunities and raise awareness on the international level of Indigenous art from the top end. The ancient arts of ceremonial dance and song are still practised today, largely in connection with funeral rites and other rites of passage, but also to maintain connections with sacred sites, which are dotted all over the landscape. The relationship of Aboriginal people to the land is integral to their identity. While much of the ceremonial dance is for what the people call serious business, there are many dances performed purely for entertainment. At the many festivals that take place each year around the Northern Territory, these dances are performed by non-professional groups as a celebration of their culture. There are also numerous professional dance troupes which travel around Australia and around the world bringing a taste of authentic Aboriginal dance to people of all cultures. There are also theatre groups and dance companies who produce collaborative works based on traditional dance styles and stories from Aboriginal folklore. Dramatic works developed and produced in the Northern Territory have stunned and delighted theatre audiences around Australia. The rich heritage and unique lifestyles of the Territory's Aboriginal people is the basis for an emerging theatre and film culture in which the traditions of Indigenous dance, song and storytelling form a powerful centrepiece. While traditional song and dance are alive and well in the remote communities, there is a growing tradition among the younger generations of singing about the land and the spirits to the sounds of electric guitars. The far away, across the sea, the bala. Ever since the introduction of electricity to remote communities in the 1960s, Aboriginal people have been experimenting and adapting the sounds of rock and roll, country and western, reggae and blues music to their own language and culture. The results today are a vibrant contemporary music industry that has seen chart-topping bands tour the world with a compelling blend of the old and the new. Nearly all of the remote communities have several rock bands and most of them sing mainly in their own languages. They travel to festivals throughout the Territory and these days many of them are going to Alice Springs and Darwin to record CDs with the two main record labels, Karma Music and Skinny Fish Music. <laughs> Aboriginal people in the Northern Territory have been singing songs for thousands of years. Now they're playing guitars, recording their music and bringing that to the world. Australia's Northern Territory is an ancient spiritual place that holds the secrets of human history in the oldest continuous living culture on Earth. Contemporary Aboriginal arts reflect the mystery of this wonderful, timeless landscape. Every year, art dealers and curators, filmmakers and choreographers 
writers and music producers come to the Northern Territory to get a close look at this unique and awe-inspiring culture. Increasingly, Australians and others from around the world are coming to regard the traditional people of the remote Northern Territory as the keepers of a great secret, the spirit of this land, Australia. Bye, 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 bye,